path before Kratos was clear, but still, the memories came rushing back, as familiar and permanent as the blades chained to his wrists. Memories of what he'd done in the name of Ares. Memories of how he'd become a servant to the god of war. A beast. His humanity robbed and replaced only with the will to murder. No one was safe. Entire armies fell before Kratos and the soldiers who followed him on his unending path of conquest, all in the name of his master. Those who offered resistance of any kind were dealt with quickly. They've built this temple to offer prayers to Athena! This entire village stands as an affront to Lord Ares! Burn this village! Burn it to the ground! Emboldened by the god of war, Kratos' army was ruthless, feared throughout the world for their brutality. All that mattered was conquest in the name of Kratos, their great leader, who had become near invincible. He feared nothing. But there was something about this temple, something forbidden. All his instincts told him he should never cross its threshold. Never step inside. Beware, Kratos. The dangers in the temple are greater than you know. But the village oracle's warning fell on deaf ears. His ambition would not be denied. All who opposed him would die. In that instant, the glory he had reveled in turned to horror. The image of his two final victims would stay with him for all his days. With that act, Kratos knew he could no longer serve his master. He had but one calling now, the death of Ares. He would murder the god of war. Even in death, the memories, the visions would not fade. For how could he forget spilling the blood of his own family? A cruel trick orchestrated by the god of war. My wife, my child, how they were left in Sparta. You are becoming all I'd hoped you'd be, Kratos. Now, with your wife and child dead, nothing will hold you back. You'll become even stronger. You will become death itself. But as the flames consumed the temple, Kratos realized his true enemy was the god who once saved his life. The same god who had now taken everything from him. Ares! From this night forward, the mark of your terrible deed will be visible to all. The ashes of your wife and child will remain fastened to your skin, never to be removed. And with that curse, all would know him for the beast he had become. His skin white with the ash of his dead family. The ghost of Sparta had been born. In the end, in death, he had failed. As the minions of Ares claimed Pandora's box, Kratos' life faded, and his cursed soul was cast into the fires of Hades. <laughs>